Welcome back to Fauna Sphere. Today we're going to play in our own sphere and figure out how to take care of our fauna better. First we'll go to the edit mode because we need some land to put our items on. So we'll click on an item in the world blocks and drag and drop them where we want them. You can have a maximum of 30 by 30 blocks uh, for your sphere and we'll get out of edit when we're done and now we're going to make a common den we're going to need four items one from each of the different categories amusement beauty shelter and comfort however many smileys there are will make a difference in our den so we'll look at our happiness items. And the first one for experimental purposes, we're going to make out of not very smiley faced items. See this one has just a gray, he's indifferent to that one. The more smileys that we have, the longer we will be able to go out into the world and play. It gives different amounts of uh, increasing happiness, but I have a feeling this den isn't going to be very good. If we don't have the items we need, we can stop at the store and get some real basic things, or the market and spend our hard-earned lux to get them. Sometimes you can trade with someone. Now we get a little box up in the corner that shows we'll have nine minutes out there, but we're going to lose energy a little faster with such a bad den. So, since we've already created it, we can't dismantle it and get the items back, but we can throw it in the trash. And if you notice up above, where it says Lux, you'll see that when we toss it, we get 10 Lux for our common den. Let's try now making a better den. We have to get out of edit, open up our ideas again. We'll go to our happiness items. And since we've sorted by smileys, the den for our hoofer, since we're on our hoofer, will show up. We can open or not open the little box we looked at with the other one, or we can just drag our items in if we know what we want to put in. Once we click create, we can't get these back. Some of these are hard to find. So right now we could dismantle it and get them back, but we're going to create our den. There it is. Now let's see how much better he does sleeping in the den. Watch his happy face meter down at the bottom. Look at that. He filled right up. That made him very happy. A 20 smiley den is the best den you can get. We'll take four five smiley items. And we'll have 45 minutes to go out into the world. We're going to gain energy a lot faster. Lose energy a lot faster. The other thing, we can feed our fauna and get a box telling how much food there is. So now we want to create some of this advanced food. So we're going to get our combining basin out of our idea tab. And it will need four items also. This is an excellent place to stop at the Rock Garden store if you need items for this because it doesn't take very fancy items at all to create this. 
So we'll just throw in some of our low-level items. Takes one from each of the categories again. Like there's no way we put that bloom sponge in there. They're way too valuable. Inky yarn. You don't have to have it opened up. You can also drag and drop with this. And there's our combiner basin. Now we need to go to our basic foods. Combining two of our basic foods together will create an advanced food. You can't use the same food twice. It has to be two different foods. This is why we've saved some of our foods. We drag two in and we can decide how many. It'll tell us the maximum number that we can make. And we can use the scroll bar and go down if we would like. If we decide we don't like what we're trying to make, we can dismantle it and the food goes back into our inventory. We'll drag it over because we really do want to make one. We can highlight it and change the number. We'll just make one for our experiment. And we got a pulley leaf. And our hoofers love pulley leaf they get three smiley faces from that, which will give them more energy when they go out into the world to play. But now we need to be able to grow some of these foods in our own sphere because a lot of times those trees have already been plucked dry when we get there. So we'll go to our tree idea and we'll drag a few trees over. The trees take 15 minutes between each harvest. Each tree will probably give us two to six harvest um, each time we plant one. We'll drag the basic food over that we want to use and say create the idea. I have noticed that occasionally you might only get one harvest out of it, which seems like a huge waste of time. So it's probably good to plant more than one. We'd at least like to double our profit on that. And we can also plant patties, which is an unusual thing that doesn't happen in real life. And now we'll just wait for 15 minutes and see what our trees look like when they are ripe. All right, we're back and our trees have gotten big, but they are not red. Well, they are red, but they're turning green as we watch. So. They're ready to harvest. You can tell because they're green and when they're ready they will each have a big icon of the kind of food that they are producing. We just click on it and it goes into our inventory. Now we know how to care for our fauna so that they do better out in the world. You have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.